I want to fly in a fighter jet. I want my first mule deer, Hell's Canyon. I want to do survival training. I want to train to be a firefighter. I still want to bigger up and <laughs> This season on the Most Wanted list, we've got some insane adventures. Season two, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. My two best friends and I are checking off things on our Most Wanted list. We're packing our bags and headed around the country to conquer our list. Last season, we had a lot of fun, but this time, we're going even bigger. Now this is the way to fly. Time to go hunting. I can take a shoulder shot. Let's do it. Another one off my most wanted list. And we're meeting up with friends along the way. <laughs> we're also doing tons of other things on all of our lists. My coat weighs more than my body. I'm gonna be a vegetarian survivor. You name it, we're gonna try to do it on season two of The Most Wanted List. Today we're doing a promotional photo shoot for our sponsors and our most wanted list fans. Hi, how's it going? We don't really have a lot of good pictures together and Christy needed some new photos for her album cover. Why not put it all together? We're excited about today because I've never done it. Jessie's stoked to get dressed up and decked out and so's Christy. Like her outfits? Oh, it's a bug on your lip. <laughs> You know we're outdoorsy and country and stuff, but we like to dress up and be girls a little bit too. All the way in, dude. Yeah, I don't wanna get cold. And I'm the one that admires my biceps. This photo shoot wouldn't be possible without Kristen, Olivia, Allie, and Laura. They made us look absolutely beautiful and we can't say thank you enough. Last year in Hell's Canyon, where we hunted elk and mule deer, we were all exhausted, and it was the most brutal hunt we've ever been on. Last year, after the first day at Hell's Canyon, I was completely dead. I don't want to repeat that this year. So we're going to go check out Higgs Gym, and they're going to put us through a complete obstacle course. Oh, these military dudes are legit. <laughs> I think we might get our butts kicked. <laughs> Train to Hunt is on Jesse Joe's most wanted list, but we all love a challenge. And Hell's Canyon kicked our butts last year, so let's see how ready we are for it this year. Hey, are we ladies. supposed to look like you when we're done with this thing? Well, maybe we'll see. <laughs> I'm Byron Higginbotham, owner of Higgs Gym, and I built a Navy SEAL style obstacle course. My plan is to smoke you, to get you tired, I think that and, would be uh, easy. and and and. <laughs> My plan is to kill you. <laughs> and still be able to take a shot. I'm Ryan Neuenschwander. I am a police officer here in Southern Oregon, and I'm assisting today in the firearm skills. So our goal is to get their heart rates up and to tax them and to smoke them physically, then have to take a kill shot. We're all a little banged up, but we'll be fine. Today's gonna be a little bit difficult for me and the girls. Jess has a pulled ligament in her hip from an accident, Jesse Joe has a broken toe, and I have a really messed up neck, so I'm not quite sure what to expect for today. We are looking at the most extreme obstacle course. One, two, hi, wait, wait. Yeah. Go. Oh, cool. Woo. Everything is a competition for me and Jesse, so of course we're going to see who wins. Here we go. Yeah. You'd never know Jesse had a broken toe, because she just takes off. There's ropes to climb, there's swings. Hold, 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 hold. Oh! I love having really short arms and then like, I reach rope! And I reach the bottom of the rope. <laughs> the other girls are like, look at me, my long legs and stuff. We 
here, right here, right here, grab me. Jess and I are wearing normal tennis shoes. Well done. And Christy decides to wear toe shoes. I am not looking forward to walking down this telephone pole with my really slippery shoes. Christy psychs herself out. Nice work. But she overcomes it and she's on to the next obstacle. Good work, good work. Surprisingly, it makes your arms feel really weak and wobbly when you're climbing the net. Nice job. We're climbing over nets, we're jumping over poles. Good, good. Pop down to the log section here. I have zero stamina. I'm like really, really good for 100 meters and then I am done. Now we can jump in and jump over, or you can stride it out. Christy and Jess are jumping down in between the poles, and I think I'm gonna try to give it a go at jumping from pole to pole. I don't wanna back down from the challenge. Good, you uh, got one, good job. Whoa! Oh. Today we're doing our train to hunt course with Byron Higginbotham at Higgs Gym in Central Point, Oregon. They're going to completely smoke us. They're gonna make us so tired that we can't stand up. Then they'll have us lay down and teach us breathing tactics so we can take a steady prone shot. Jessie's flying through this obstacle course. Uh, got one, good job. She's jumping from log to log. Whoa, you okay? <laughs> but her foot catches the last log and she totally eats it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's her attention? I full on scorpion. It didn't feel so great. I get up and it's like, whoa, okay. I continue, but I think my back might be just a little sore tomorrow. The first part of the course is really hard for us, but the second half is way more intense. They're asking us to run up this wall. It's a straight up incline. Good, good. Okay, start getting your legs up. Get your legs up. Get your legs up. Oh! Dang. Christy's part spider monkey. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm watching the other girls do this. I'm worried about my injured hip, but they're making it through it. Leg up. Leg up. Nice, well done. Good job. Good job. There's no way I'm backing down from this challenge. Come on, Jess, come on. Get it, get it, you got it, you got it. There you go, get your leg up there. She's struggling, but she does not give up. Leg up, Get your leg, leg up. up. There was a moment when I didn't think that I was gonna be able to push through it. Nice! Yeah. Nice, good job! Got it! Nice job! <laughs> but I got my leg up over the top and I made it up the wall. Yeah! You went awesome. Good job. Nice, okay, here we go, up on the poles. Byron is awesome. He is guiding us and helping us every step of the way. Good, nice job, go, go, oh. go, 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 oh my He's goodness! At the end of the course, when we're all completely exhausted, we have to try to make a calm and steady shot. I get through the obstacle course, I'm alive, and now I have to try to take a calm and steady shot? 45 seconds. Nice and comfortable. Nice, slow, controlled breaths, Christy. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good job. She's on her game, as usual. Good job, girl. <sighs> well done. Thank you. You're awesome. My trusty Browning 300 is right where I want it. Go, Jesse. Back to the table. I get down to take my prone shot, and after falling, my elbows and my knees, they hurt. So to get down on a concrete slab kind of sucks. In through your nose, out through your mouth. I see. You're just doing the target. If this was the real deal and I was shooting at that deer, he'd be dead. Okay, hustle up to the table here for your shot. At this point, I am fatigued. A nice good prone position. We've got 60 seconds to try to set up and take a shot. Trigger pull, nice and slow. Nice and relaxed, just you and the target. Go me. Good job. Nice work. Jess did a great job on the course, especially since she had that injury to start with. That's a win for the day, so I'm good with that. Man, I gotta say, I'm, uh, 
I'm impressed. They are way more qualified than I thought. As much as uh, you know, I could give tips here and there, they really are dialed in on their shooting. Well, that was a fun, exhausting, tiring, entertaining day. <laughs> I was real surprised at, at how well they did. Nice job today, awesome. ladies. Thank you guys you. rocked it. Those girls gutted it up. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. You. We had so much fun. It was a challenge, it was rewarding, and I am so proud of us for getting through that obstacle course. I feel so much more confident going to Hell's Canyon now. This is one of my favorite things that we've ever done. Time to go hunting. Look at those ants nests. There are ants everywhere. I am organizing and putting on a barrel race fundraiser, and I'm a little stressed out. It's time to go hunting. I know we're ready to go. We're a little late. I was not really. I put up a Browning trail camera on my friend's property for Jess's blacktail hunt this year. This is where I want to go for your blacktail. Okay, sweet. Let's go. And one of the reasons I put it up is because there's a lot of coyotes in the area and I just want to make sure they're not affecting the deer population so Jess can get a buck. Check it out. I can't wait to see. Come on, nice bear. How cute is that little Browning mm -hmm. SD I know, this part. was one of my favorite parts actually. I know, I'm excited to see what we got. Me too. I am too. Okay, so let's see, that one, that one. Oh! Cute. Nothing great. Deer and box. No bears. We checked the camera, no coyotes, but we're still gonna go out for an evening hunt. The best way to see if there are any coyotes on this property is to go out there around dusk and start making some calls. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this property in five years, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get into. We're trying to find a spot to stay back and stay covered and stay out of plain sight. Look at those, those holes are ants' nests. We find a tree and we think we're in a good area, but all of a sudden we look down and there are ants everywhere. Freaking fire ants everywhere. Ugh! <laughs> Great spot, Christy. We're going to annihilate a coyote if he comes out, and I'm going to call it for the very first time. To make things even better, none of us have ever called a coyote. They say it's supposed to sound like a dying baby, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. We have no clue what we're doing. Christy tries out the predator call, and she sounds pretty legit. Sounds like a dying baby. She hands it over to me, and I don't even know if I can make it make a sound. Okay. <laughs> it sounded like a party toy at a children's birthday. <laughs> Sounds like I'm angry too well. <laughs> I think I still have some work to do. We don't see a freaking fly in the field. There's nothing. Instead of calling them, I'm pretty sure we scared them away. Wheel, guys. We're killing it. <laughs> but not seeing a coyote is actually a very good thing, because that means the deer population is going to be just fine. This weekend is a huge weekend for me. I am organizing and hosting a fundraiser barrel race for my sister's nonprofit called Heavenly Hope Ministries. We are preparing the elk patties that I shot from last year in season one, and we are going to serve them at the fundraiser. There's so much involved in putting on a fundraiser by myself. I'm stressed out and I just want things to go smoothly. We kind of have a little bobble, no big deal, and we fly back home. Good job, Jessica. That's a 9.8. Oh my gosh. Get some hay and we're off. It's race day. Today is Christie's benefit barrel race for Heavenly Hope Ministries and Athletes for the Nation. Don't worry, I brought all your food. 
I was up about 4.30 this morning, and I'm exhausted. Let's go to the races. I'm a little nervous, but I really hope we have a good turnout. I'm extremely excited because one, it's a charity event and we get to help and give back. And two, I get to run my barrel horse. Doesn't get much better than that. The silent auction that we have for the race is gonna be great. All the sponsors for the show really pitched in. Winchester, Browning, Browning Trail Cameras, Bog Pod, Caldwell, Camo Ammo Jewelry, Macy Bean Olathe Boots, all of them pitched in and gave us some great um, silent auction items and raffle items. And we have Elk Burgers. Look, that's the one that I shot. I hope we raise a lot of money. It's for a really great cause. <laughs> Jess got there a little bit early to help out. We weren't sure what the turnout was going to be for this barrel race, but it's looking like a pretty decent turnout. Chrissy should be pretty happy with that. Jessie Jo was a little late because she had the worst morning ever. What's that? Wiki, 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 wiki. Oh, that's Jessie pulling in with a flat tire, a lame horse, and a breaking down truck. I don't know why I'm blowing up tires. That thing is brand Holy new. Holy piss, how long did you drive in on that? Look at it, it's brand new. I get out of my truck, it's overheating, my trailer has a flat tire, I've cut a lame horse, I just wanna go home. Isn't that great? But I'm not gonna go home. This is really important to Christy and she's been working so hard. So I guess in return, she's gonna have to let me borrow her horse. We are set up and ready to go, finally. Now I gotta get ready to go because I'm lucky number seven. Jesse messed with my chin strap on my head stall and I knew better than to mess with it before my run, but we had a pretty good run anyways. Cost us a little bit of time, but we did pretty good anyways. Awesome job, Christy, that's an 18.766. For the most part, Christy had a great little run. I think she's gonna pull a check. Jess is up next on Digger, and she hasn't ran him in a while. We are flying. Digger feels strong. He's trying to listen. It's incredible. But we end up about 15 to 20 feet past the first barrel. It's how it goes. He feels great. We make it through the rest of our run, and it's a clean run. Good job. Point four, I'm just happy to be back on my horse. He's sound, happy, and strong. Since Shiner is lame, I'm gonna run Christy's fun little cow horse, Venom. Coming back with 67, Jesse Joe Stanfield on Venom. I've ridden him a little bit, but I've definitely never been through the pattern on him at all. So this could be interesting. I have a small bobble on our first barrel, and we run by it a few strides, but that is the least of your worries when you jump on a new barrel horse. Good job, Jesse. That's a 19220. 19.220. Good job, Jesse Joe. One of the most unique things about this barrel race is that Christy set up a single stake race. So Christy talks me into having a little bit of fun today, and I'm gonna run the stakes race. Digger's never seen this event before, but with Digger, he goes all out all the time. So he's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. I get him in the right spot. We run up to the pole. We kind of have a little bobble, and then we fly back home. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have never been so scared for Jess in my life. And she's up. Luckily, they are both okay. Jess is tough as nails and covered in dirt. Damn. Oh my gosh. It's I disgusting. forgot to shave today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll be fine. Despite <laughs> some bumps and bruises, it went off really well. Jesse, Joe, and I both won checks today, which is really cool because she's never ran my horse before. Nobody's on their deathbed and we're all good. So, great event, great cause. Thanks Holly and Huck at Barrel Bonanza Ranch for having us and thanks to all of our sponsors for making this happen. This season on the Most Wanted list, we've got some insane adventures. Season two, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Every year we get together and figure out what we want to do for the upcoming season. I definitely want to do fighter jet. I want to hunt an elk. My first elk. I still want a bigger elk. 
<laughs> I want to do like a sniper training and SWAT training. I want to play the shark. Scuba diving. I want to dive into the ship. I really want to get revenge on an old blacktail and a grizzly. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You name it, we're going to try to do it on season two of The Most Wanted List. And she's on to the next. I can't say next. On to the next. On to the next obstacle. Don't, 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 don't. I'm gonna do the motion test. Pretend you're an animal. <laughs> and then it comes out. Put a face to the fart. So. And she's on to the next obstacle. <laughs> she's on to the next obstacle. Hey! <laughs> and she's on to the next. What the hell? <laughs> and she's on to the next obstacle. <laughs>